All right, let's do this. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette here. It's a beautiful April, mid-April day here in Pennsylvania. The weather's finally, uh, weather's finally back. And we have a uh, really nice 2004 convertible here. Car came in through uh, one of our clients. Really nice low mileage car. It's in the, it's in the low 20s. And no paint work, black top, black interior. It's a six speed car, all the right stuff. It's a one SB package, so it's got all the power features, the dual zone air and six way power seats, memory seats and all that. Uh, condition is impeccable. Interior is really superb. Just a really nice, well-preserved, uh, almost a 20 year old car here. Somebody put a new head unit in there and it has Apple CarPlay and, and uh, you know backup camera. It's really well done and it actually really complements the car. Really modernizes it. You know, anymore a car without a backup camera is like, it's a little bit more work uh, to drive. I hate to say that, but uh, we've gotten a little accustomed to these things and it's, it's really, once you have it, it's hard to step back from. So this is a nice feature on this car. And it goes into reverse, that's when the backup camera comes on, as it should. So really, uh, you know, some nice stuff on the car. I haven't detailed it yet. This is how it came in. We've gone through the shop with it and you know, this again was a customer's car, so we, we know the car, we know its uh, condition, we did tires on it. These are replacement, these are actually Z06 uh, size wheels and tires, they fit perfectly. It really changes the handling dynamic of the car, and uh, this thing, and you know, we put the new uh, Continentals on it, Extreme Contact Continentals, and boy, it just drives great. So it really does change the driving uh, dynamic of this car. So we're going to take this thing out for a ride and uh, just run it through the gears and you know show that it, it's uh, what I'm telling you it is. All right, let's do this. All right, so this car's got 24,815 miles. I've got it on the coldest AC setting here. It's blowing nice and cold. Okay, so we'll be done with that. That's right, uh, right where it should be. One of the things, like I said, I, this is really well done, this head unit in here and all. And uh, the USB port is here, so, you know, you can do your Apple CarPlay. Or, or you know, hook your Android up to it. So that's kind of, kind of nice. Really well done. It actually looks like, you know, it, it looks like it belongs in there from the factory. So we're gonna get this thing detailed up, but I, you know, in a black car, <laughs> I hate to say it, I like to take them out and drive them before they're all detailed up, because at a minimum, they get dust on them. So anyway. Yeah, this, this, this car really feels nice and tight. I talk about how the um, transmissions will over time start to rattle and, and uh, it'll rattle the shifter. You get a little bit of play in the uh, in that unit and uh, transmits through the uh, shifting arms, shifting rod. This one doesn't have any of that and it, boy, it really feels nice. So, you know, just, just feeling this, this is actually the first time I've driven the car. The mechanics went through it, but it, you know, it's never been beat up. I, I can just feel it. You know, just like anything that you're buying, it's, it's worth it to look at more than just one car because you have to, you know, you can get a good sense of the difference between a good one and a bad one. And you don't realize how good this one is until you've driven one with heavy, heavy mileage that's just got a lot of wear and tear. So, really is, 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 a, is a good one. So we got triple black here. It's a great combination and you know, you combine it with a six speed, short mileage. 
you have, you know, a car that's that's not just a car anymore. It's, it's you know, 20 year old coming up on 20 years. Now I'm going to pick uh, be a little picky here, and I've seen it happen with black and tears and cars that have been driven and sit outside in the sun a little bit with the top down, and that was probably just from driving it. Um, the door panels in the armrest area. They start to delaminate. This has that. It's not awful, but I, I want you to know about it because uh, it's really the only defect um, on this car, and, and it is common. But I'm not one to tell you, you know, hey, it's a perfect car. Perfect is a is a strong word, and uh, this is a really tall standing car, and superb on on just about every level. But that's um, that's something that might bother somebody um, I don't think it's something that can be fixed but it, it could be but you know once vinyl delaminates that's the end of it so something to be aware of um, the new you know you can get new door panels for these cars but you know originality is originality it's only original once so that's the only flaw on the car that I'm going to tell you is uh, you know, is worth talking about. The seats, you know, there's no wear on the bolsters or anything really. Um, you know, just damn good condition. All right, so that's the one, the one picky thing about this car, and it's really not even an issue. All right, so something to, you know, something to be informed about, but. You know, I want, I want somebody to be able to buy a car from me sight unseen, and I want the car to exceed your expectation. And I've been pretty darn successful with that over the years. Uh, very few people have uh, gotten a car from us sight unseen and, and, and not exceeded their expectations. So, um, this, this is that type of car that uh, should do that for you. Well, you know, once we're really cleaned up you know there's just a little bit of dust in in, in around the car and that's that's normal but we'll get it all cleaned up and it'll it'll look uh, it'll look fresh when we're done with it but i'll tell you what as far as the way it runs and drives um it's as good as they get so uh, mechanically cosmetically this is a hard car to duplicate and you know you add in the triple black with a shifter the other thing I'm going to talk about is the evolution of the C5. Um, 2004 was the final year. You know, when it comes to Corvettes, the final year is the best year for obvious reasons. Any inherent flaws are usually worked out by them. And some of these 90, uh, 99 and 2000 cars, they can have some uh, ABS module issues. They, they've resolved it you know, by, by 2002, and the 2004 model is uh, it arguably the best. So, just something else to think about there. You've got a lot of good things going for this car. And it's hard to shop, there's just not, uh, there's not a lot of them out there. You know, you figure 19 going on 20 years. Thank you. Ah, it's always always fun to have somebody stop and you know big smile and a thumbs up you get that in a Corvette you don't get that in any other car now you know you get a Ferrari or something like that problem with Ferrari we just sold one actually it was a trade and another good customer bought it and that was a silver a gray uh, California that's kind of a you know nondescript car but you know you get a red you know red 488 or yeah, whatever you know a Lamborghini <laughs> there's a crowd of people around your car anytime you come out of a restaurant or anywhere you go and you know hey if you're into that that's cool but it can be a pain in the butt um, that's, that does nothing for me man I, I like to fly under the radar I, I, I like cars for what they do for me um, not what they do for my image um, you know uh, but, you know, Corvettes are, are, you know, they're popular for a reason. I mean, it's America's sports car. And 
They're, they're just great cars for the money. C5s, uh, you know, they're starting to get a little older now, and you know, I'm leaning towards uh, you know newer models, C uh, C6s, C7s, simply because there's just not that many out there with this mileage, this condition. So when we find one like this, and we you know almost invariably get them all from our customer base, you grab them. All right, let's do this. Okay, red line first and second, smooth as silk. This thing uh, has not a vibration in it. Um, really, really tight, solid, smooth. I mean, it goes over these bumps here with no, no issue. The Continental uh, Extreme Contact tires are among the best you can get. And these are a little wider, so you got a little extra, a little extra handling here. So this, this is a sweetheart of a car. And they don't rubber anything as well, so it's, it's important to know that. So, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a good one, guys and gals. Um, you can buy this one sight unseen. Have it shipped to you. Or come check it out. Take it for a drive. I'll go for a drive with you. I don't even care if you buy it or not. Um, beats, uh, beats sitting in my office. You know, in the weather like this, I'm a pushover, too. I mean, just get me outside. We're good. But now, there's no seat rock in this thing. I mean, it's, it's just... All the stuff that wears on these cars, this car hasn't seen it yet. With the exception of the door panels. And that's just being in the sun. Um, and I'm gonna speculate that whoever owned this car, they got some sun damage too. I hope they weren't bald. Um, second owner on this car is, uh, is our client. I don't know the first owner. But yeah, I hope he was wearing sunscreen. Anyway. This is a good one, so if you have an interest, give us a call, email, text, however you want to reach us. Just pop on in, whatever works for you. We're happy to happy to spend time with you. You got a trade, we'll make it happen. Um, just let us know. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and spending five minutes with me. I enjoyed it as much as uh, I hope you did. I'd like to find something else to drive today because it's so nice out and I missed spring. I started thinking about spring uh, the day after the leaves drop. So it's welcome here. And in case you haven't noticed about me, I like the warm weather. All right, thanks for watching guys. Check us out, subscribe, and let us know if you have an interest in this car or anything else we have.